What's up everybody, this is Joe from Mainline Overland. Today on the bench I have National Luna's new Smart Legacy fridge. So we're gonna do a deep dive on this fridge and show you what it's all about. So starting off, the first thing you'll notice is the stainless steel construction of this National Luna fridge. They opted to go with this super robust and stout stainless steel construction versus where a lot of other fridge manufacturers you see are using a plastic uh, kind of exterior where this is gonna really hold up and hold up in the elements, hold up in your rig, and it's really gonna last the test of time. This fridge has the option to be run on house power, which we have it plugged into right now, or if you're running it through 12 volt, um, you're gonna use this plug right here with this uh, mini Anderson connector. Uh, so we usually recommend people, for about, before going out on a trip, uh, we like to plug it in inside, get it nice, everything nice and cold, load your fridge get, and uh, get it cold. And then when you're ready to go, go ahead and plug it into your truck. It's gonna save a lot of uh, battery power from your truck because everything's already cold in here and it just has to maintain that temperature now. So continuing on the outside of this fridge, there are two carrying handles on either end uh, to make it super easy to pick up and tote around with you. Uh, these fridge handles also have the integrated tie downs here. Uh, so there's a little slot where you can slip your tie down, uh, strap through, and make it super easy to tie down in your rig. Um, up front, there are these two nice metal closing uh, latches. Um, they close super tight uh, to create a nice tight seal uh, with a gasket of the fridge lid. Thank you, Sam. So now with those latches on, we'll pop this bad boy open. So you see this has a nice thick insulation in the lid as well as all around all, around all four sides. So this is the 50 liter model, which is one of their dual control units. Uh, these fridges are available in single control or dual control. Uh, the difference between those is the single control will have one uh, big fridge compartment where the dual controls will actually have separated compartments. So you could run one compartment at a different temperature than the other. Uh, so most people will run one as a freezer and one as a fridge. Um, that's kind of the most typical orientation. Or if you wanted to run the whole thing as a fridge, you can also do that. Taking a look inside the fridge, the freezer compartment over here has this nice little plastic cover. Kind of keep some of the, the cold in there uh, to keep your things nice and frozen. They also have these nice storage baskets. Um, so it's super easy to keep your fridge organized and throw all your frozen goods in there and then load it in the fridge. Um, this compartment is a little bit smaller than the other side just because that's where the compressor and everything sits. Your freezer section is going to be a little bit smaller than the fridge, um, but typically that's not an issue for people. And taking a look at the fridge side, the fridge side has the same kind of basket. It's a little bit bigger. Um, they actually have two baskets to help organize everything. Get those pulled out. And they uh, stack and nest super nicely. And looking in the fridge, there's some nice LED lights in here, as well as a nice lining that's gonna keep this really easy to clean. Uh, if you get something to spill in there, uh, it's gonna be, make it super easy for cleanup. So we plugged this fridge in about 20 minutes ago and it cooled down super quick. It's already at our set, the temperatures we set it to um, on the control panel up here. We'll go through this in a couple minutes, as well as the Bluetooth enabled app, which makes this the smart fridge. Uh, but the compressor and everything else on this fridge is pretty much the same as National Luna's classic legacy fridges, uh, which are known to last for a very long time, be super efficient and reliable. Uh, National Luna uses their own proprietary compressor design in this, um, where a few years back they were using some different manufacturers, uh, but weren't really pleased with their performance, so they kind of went out, designed their own thing. And this compressor comes with a seven-year warranty, which is really hard to beat. So let's take a closer look at the control panel on this National Luna smart fridge. So up here in the upper left, there is this battery protection section. Uh, so you can actually set at what battery level do you want this fridge to turn off. So at low, it'll shut off once the battery reaches 9.5 volts. Uh, medium is 10.5 volts, and then the high is 11.5 volts. So if you're really worried about your fridge running down your car battery, you can set it to the high. And uh, once that your battery level starts to get below 11.5, it's gonna shut it off. If you're running off an auxiliary battery and not really too concerned about it drawing down the battery, you can set it to the low setting and it'll keep running all night um, and kind of have that lower shutoff point. So you might be a little confused at first when you first unbox this fridge because from National Luna, who's, these are made in South Africa, um, it's gonna be set in Celsius, uh, but they make it super easy to change into Fahrenheit for us American folks. Um, so all you're gonna do is push on the up and down arrows simultaneously and it'll change. See, now we're in Celsius. Uh, we were in Fahrenheit previously, uh, but to change it back to Fahrenheit now, you just follow that same procedure, push it, and it'll go back. So the last thing to show you on the control panel is how to set and adjust the temperature on this fridge. Uh, this being the new smart fridge, it does have the Bluetooth app where you can do it all on, 
uh, but I wanted to run through how to do it manually first. So to adjust the temperature up and down, you're actually gonna hold the down button for three seconds, and then it's gonna start flashing, and that's where you can adjust your temperature. Um, we had this set at 32 for the fridge side, um, and this will go all the way down into the negatives. To set the temperature on the right compartment, you'll follow the same procedure. Hold down on this button for three seconds. It'll start flashing and then you can set your temperature uh, to whatever you would like. Lastly, to shut the fridge off, you're just gonna hold this up arrow for three seconds until it goes off. So now let's run you through the mobile app and show you how this all works. So I'm gonna open up the app here. Uh, it's gonna just take a second to scan and connect. So now we see this fridge pop up here. We'll just tap on that. It's connecting. Now we have full control of this fridge. Uh, so you'll see the left zone here and the right zone. Uh, to adjust the temperature, all you're gonna do is tap on it. And then down here, you can adjust the temperature up and down. You can probably see over there on your left, it's actually changing on the manual controls as well. Um, and then let's say we're gonna set this to the 32, just click okay. And now that's set. Um, same procedure for the right side, just tap on it. Uh, you can go up and down and push okay, and it'll set that temperature. You can also change your battery protection levels, how we ran through on the front. Uh, so this is the 9.5, 10.5, and 11.5 volts. And you can also turn on and off the turbo mode uh, if you wanna get it cooled down super quick. So I think the last thing to run through is everything that's included with this fridge. Uh, so I briefly mentioned this is the 12 volt plug here, uh, which uses a mini Anderson on this end. And then this actually uses a Hella style plug on this end actually give you a nice little flush mount adapter here. Uh, so if you wanna run some custom wiring, they give you this option. Uh, it can, has a nice flush mount availability, so you can make that mount nice and discreet. Um, another really cool thing about this fridge is you're actually able to swap the way that the fridge lid opens. So you have these extra mounts here and you're actually able to kind of move these latches around onto the side here and have it open this way. Um, so depending on how your truck's configured, that's a nice little added flexibility. Hope you enjoyed this episode of On the Bench with MLO, where we went through the new National Luna Smart Legacy fridge with Bluetooth compatibility. If you're looking to pick one of these up for yourself, head over to our website at mainlineoverland.com. We'll link this product collection below, and uh, thanks for watching.